Hi guys, what's up? It's Unique Simmer here and you are probably wondering what am I doing over on Simmer Erin's channel. While I am here, she is over on my channel and we decided to do each other's voiceovers for our videos. So this is going to be super fun. And we also had this idea that we wanted to do a speed build each where we use the pre-built rooms from EA to create a house. So we only described to each other what it is that we did um, when we built our house because we haven't seen each other's builds at all so we will be so we will basically be seeing each other's builds once it is published onto YouTube so yeah that is kind of interesting so I went from the description that Summer Erin gave me and she told me that she went for a stuffy snobby sophisticated style and she felt like she mostly failed so from what I can tell it's a more traditional type of house with some feature groves and embellishments so um, she told me that the hardest part was the kitchen because nothing seemed to fit and she went for a more slightly rustic look with the kitchen where she used black grey and some wood tones and skillets hanging from the stove so she says that she's fairly sure that the people that live here wants to be French but aren't <laughs> so when it came to the roof she tried to combine three roofs and it ended up looking like a sliced mess <laughs> the backyard features a little patio with two tables with an umbrella and a grill and landscaping is simple and includes a few trees so she didn't do too much with the landscaping so she kept it on the natural side so the inside she said the floors are pale wood planks without much texture the walls are mostly pale blue with a darker pattern blue in the bathroom so she said that the bathroom is mostly dark and features a standing wood sink and a dark bathtub and it goes much more with the kitchen than the rest of the house so when it came to the back of the house and the inside she said that there is only one bedroom and it's the master bedroom with a full-sized bed and a traditional rug in the color cream with patterned details and gray trims so she went for a nice type of natural bedroom as I can assume so yeah she says next to the bedroom is a random sitting room with a glass door opening up to the patio it has a blue fireplace with two flower vases and two blue chairs and some strange dangling lights so for the front of the house she said that the entryway leads into either the dining room or the living room and the dining room is a formal room with a touch of French country it opens up into the kitchen and when it comes back to the kitchen you can remember that she said there's some skillets hanging over the stove. The living room consists of three sofas and a love suite um, and it's turquoise and blue and white traditional rug. So she went for very light colors and, and lots of blues and light cream colors which I think is gonna go so well. And she says it's simple with some odd chandeliers and china chicken decorations on the coffee table. So the room leads into a small study with a bookshelf, desk and chair. No computer though because we don't want them to have any fun she says so what I can put together from this is that she went for a nice type of I wouldn't say country style but it kind of sounds like that to me um, with the light blues and then the cream colors and the embellishments from the outside of the house and things like that so I'm kind of excited to see what it is that she is building and if it is at all what I imagined it to be so I hope you guys enjoy this let some Erin know in the comments down below what you guys think and if you have not already don't forget to like and subscribe to her channel she is such an amazing person and I personally love her a lot she's a very dear friend of mine so I hope that you guys have a super duper awesome day until next time bye